All right, so starting with materials, I want to apologize first. The sun today is just having a mind of its own. So if the lighting in this video fluctuates a lot, it's because I film next to my window. It's getting really gloomy and then really bright, but whatever. Hopefully it doesn't affect the video too much. For materials, you're going to need any two colors of a weight four yarn. I'm using acrylic yarn. You can use cotton. I'm doing, it's kind of like reddish pink and white for the candy cane colors. You're also going to need some tacky glue. I got this at Walmart. For the crochet hook, I'm going to be using a 4.5 millimeter hook. I'm also going to be using some crafting scissors. And then finally, a small piece of wire. I got this from the dollar store. It's a very thin piece of wire. You can use a thicker one, a thinner one. This one is really thin, so I just folded it to make it a little bit thicker. And that's what's going to give us the candy cane shape of our candy cane. A stitch marker is not required for this project because it's so fast and so easy, but if you need one to help you, if you're an absolute beginner, then go for it. I'm first going to start with my red yarn, or you can even start with your white yarn. The pattern for each part of the candy cane is exactly the same, so it doesn't matter what you start with, and it's super simple. So I'm just pulling up a whole bunch of yarns so that I'm able to maintain my tension, and we're going to create a slip knot. Grab this end of your yarn like this, and twist. Then go through the hole here, and pull through. I have an in-depth video about how to do slip stitches, slip knots, single crochets, and all that stuff on my channel, and I will link it down below. So I've just attached the slip knot to my hook, and we're going to pull it snug onto the hook. Next, we're going to start doing some chains. So to do a chain, you're going to yarn over on your hook, and then pull through that loop on your hook, and keep yarning over. Now, the fun thing about this pattern is it is completely customizable. Like, obviously, a lot of patterns are customizable, but this one even more so, because there is not a specific stitch count that you have to do. I personally am going to do 24 to create that mini candy cane, but if you wanted to make a super large candy cane or an even smaller one, you can just vary the number of stitches that you're doing because the pattern for this is so simple. So here's my chain, I'm just gonna count, and I have 24 stitches on my hook. But again, if you wanna make a bigger candy cane or a smaller one, then add more or take away. The next thing we're going to be doing is going into the second stitch from the hook. And it's a bit hard to see, I'm sorry. Hopefully with the white yarn it's a bit easier. But we have one stitch here and one stitch here. So going into the top part, I'm going to do a single crochet. So we insert our hook, yarn over, pull through. We have two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through both of those loops. Go back into that same stitch. So insert your hook back into that same stitch and insert another single crochet. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops on your hook. And this is gonna be the pattern for the entire way down the chains, two single crochets in each stitch. We're gonna to go to the next stitch, insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. And now we're doing another single crochet in that exact stitch. And like that. So keep doing increases in each chain down the, <laughs> in each stitch down the entirety of the chain. And again, on my Crochet 101 video, I have a more in-depth tutorial of doing single crochets in chains. And I'll meet you at the end, and you should see that your project is going to start to curl like this. And that is completely fine because that is what we want. So maintain the proper tension, and I will meet you at the end. All right, so I'm at the last chain, and I'm going to insert my hook, place a single crochet, and then insert my hook back into that stitch and place another single crochet. And this is when it's getting super sunny in my room. So whatever. Now I'm just taking my scissors and we're gonna cut off a shorter tail end because we don't need it to be that long. And to fasten off, you're just going to want to pull the yarn all the way through. And now you kind of have this twirly string of whatever color you chose to do and we're going to do the exact same thing with the next color so i'm taking my white yarn or whichever color yarn you're using for your second color and we're going to do the exact same pattern so if you did 24 stitches for the first little swirl then you're going to do 24 for this little swirl the same goes if you did a st different stitch count for each just do the exact same stitch count with the next color so i'm going to be doing a slip knot 
like so and attaching it onto my hook, pulling the slip knot snugly on my hook. And I'm gonna be doing 24 chains. So I'm yarning over, pulling through, pulling through until I get to 24. Twenty-four. So I have 24 of my white stitches and it's a bit easier to see with these stitches I think. So we have our first stitch from the hook and our second stitch from the hook. Go into this top part of that stitch, so insert your hook and we're going to be doing a single crochet increase. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. You have two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through both of them. Go back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. That's our first increase. Now go to the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Go back into that same stitch and place another single crochet. Into the next stitch, two single crochets, which is an increase. And keep doing all the increases down the entire way of the chain. And you can see it's already starting to curl, which is what we want. If yours is not curling, it's okay because you can still do the wrap around the wire that I'm going to show you how to do. But if it's curling, then it's going to be a lot easier to do that. So I, that's why I kind of like doing this with acrylic yarn. I find acrylic yarn curls up a lot better than cotton yarn, but whatever you're using will work, so don't worry. Going into the last chain here and placing my final single crochet increase. It's the exact same, we're going to cut off a shorter tail end. And to fasten off, you're just going to pull through with your hook, like this. And now we have another curly piece of yarn. Now that we have our two pieces of squiggly yarn, we're going to start putting the whole candy cane together. Yes, it's this easy, guys. Like, I promise this is a very fast craft. So I'm using that piece of wire that I mentioned at the beginning. I just folded it over twice. But again, if you have just a thicker piece of wire, then use that. You don't really have to fold it. And I'm also going to be using the tacky glue for this part. Now go to the ends that don't have these loose ends here, so this one here, and I'm placing them both on top of each other like this. Now what I like to do is just take a little bit of the tacky glue, if it'll even come out. I'm always fighting with this glue because it's always so hard to come out. If you have a hot glue gun, that would also probably work a little bit better. <laughs> I'm just putting a bit of the tacky glue on here, then attaching the red color, my reddish pink color, to the top here. And that's just going to keep these two pieces together while we're twisting it around the wire. And the next part is so, so easy. So if you have a regular wire, you can just stick it through these here, but I made it 10 times more difficult for myself. And I'm going to <laughs> stick it through with the two pieces of wire that I have. Um, just to this top part here so that it secures around the yarn and like I actually like you guys have got to get thicker wire this thin wire it's so like bendable and it's hard to kind of maneuver around the yarn because it bends so much but it's okay we work with what we got and then again using tacky glue or hot glue you're going to want to glue the entirety of the length. I start say start in small sections for it. So I'm just doing that amount of tacky glue and it's super easy. All you have to do is twist the yarn around with the wire in the middle. So I'm doing this again because my wire sucks. Don't go to the dollar store to get wire. <laughs> but so what I do is I wrap it around and then I kind of give it like a little bit of a tighten so that they all look nice and uniform together. But they should be forming into like these little candy cane swirls that you would see on a regular candy cane. So I'm gonna do this all the way down. It's probably gonna take me way longer than you because again, this wire, 
My goodness, I thought this would be a good idea. <laughs> I should have got something else. reached the end so I'm just gonna tie the string around the wire and this is why I kind of recommend hot glue a bit more than tacky glue because the tacky glue will take a while to dry and it's gonna be annoying to kind of wait for it to dry and all that stuff um, but with the hot glue everything's gonna stay together a lot more but I think if you watch my other videos you would know the place that I film is uh, kind of far away from an outlet so I'm using the tacky glue pretend this is hot glue because once you glue this part here and trim the excess then it's going to be secured but for me i have to wait a while i think the hot glue will get you that tighter curl as well because it'll dry faster but now we kind of have this little candy cane stick and to mold it since we used a wire it's super easy you just <laughs> do a little curve like so now i'm gonna go off camera and get my wire cutters and cut this part trim this off but make sure that your ends are secured you can either tuck them in or you can just do what i did which is glue them to the wire and just like that you have your own mini candy cane you can bend it however you want but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this really fast tutorial sorry for all the chaotic lighting changes and my battle with tacky glue but my battle with tacky glue will never end. You guys know I hate it so much. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed. And this is the second part to my Christmas garland series, which shows you how to make Christmas charms. I'll be uploading my next couple ones over the next week, and then I'll show you how to put these all together on the Christmas garland in my final video. Anyways, thank you for watching. See you next time.